Good news for all you Sleepy Hollow fans. The popular Fox series is back for another season of monster mystery action packed time traveling thrills. Thanks to the production. Yes, I got all that out. Thanks to the production <laughs> assistance of Fox Publicity. Two of the stars of the show are here this morning. Jessica Camacho and a man we've just given him office space at this point. Yeah. Uh, Zach Appleman, he's back. He's just we love you. <laughs> You're just family at this point. <laughs> Welcome back. You, you too, just like Cameron by Condova here for the AT. Uh, ATV Fest. Yeah. So well, I mean, we, well, we shoot here too, so we're here anyway. Yes. But, uh, so, what yeah. are you guys going to be doing for this for this particular weekend? Well, we got uh, tomorrow night. We're going to do a bunch of press, and then they're going to be screening uh, a brand new episode of Sleepy Hollow, uh, episode three hundred and ten tomorrow. Exciting. And then we're doing a Q and A panel mm -hmm. afterwards. It's going to be me, Jessica, Lindy Greenwood, and yes. Nikki Reed. Nice. So, yeah. I get the Q and A first, though. Okay, mid season right. finale, big cliffhanger. Abby steps into the portal, boom, gone. Gone. Are we going to get answers tonight, or we got to wait through the whole season to figure out what happened to Abby? What's, don't give away too much now. Just okay, okay. give what you can. Tonight, you are going to see uh, the team really kind of having to work together in this frantic search for Abby. Um, so they're all kind of teaming up, going down different avenues, doing whatever they can to try and figure out where she is and how to bring her back. Yeah. Um, so in the process, you're going to see some unlikely partnerships. Uh, Sophie Foster and Ichabod mm -hmm. Crane, kind of suspicious of each other, not really sure what they think of each other, yet realizing they're best if they, they kind of form a team to bring Abby back. What about so. Sophie and Joe Corbin? Is that we're going to see some team so, work? Yeah, yeah. you know, later in the season, yeah. we see them working together. Yeah, I mean, you definitely, um, you know, it's it's a big sort of emotionally devastating event when Abby disappears on all of them. Uh, so we're going to see the ramifications of that and how that plays out and how that affects everybody. Okay. Yeah. You know what, I need to congratulate both of you because last year I believe you went from just kind of showing up a couple of times to now you are main characters. Yeah. Main characters on the show. Yeah. Thank yes. You, yeah. you, how does that work? You get a call into the writer's office and you're like, <laughs> oh my God, they're cutting my character. I mean, what is I mean, that? You, you what never, is that? You never know. I mean, you yeah. know, I had done one episode last season yeah. and then uh, when they were starting to plan the season three, they got in touch with me and were like, we're thinking of bringing you back this year, but we didn't know for how much. And then fortunately, it ended up being a full time thing. So that was awesome. It's a, sort of the call as an actor that you're always hoping yeah. that you're going to get. Yeah. Jessica, that has yeah. to be a great feeling, though because you know you're putting your, your heart and your, your soul and your work and then to realize that fans are appreciating it it's uh, the, the writers are appreciating it you know what what does that feel like it's a dream come true like you said it's it's what every aspiring actor waits for that call that news and and actually our fans are a big part of that sleepy yeah. hollow fans are amazing they yeah. tune in they, they communicate with us they let us know they're excited they give us their feedback and so to see that people were really responding to Sophie Foster was amazing for me and uh, I kind of told myself look if it turns into a permanent thing, great. If it doesn't, great. I'm so thankful for the opportunity, and it did, and that was the best day. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> you know, uh, in the interview I just did with Cameron, she talked about the fact her show, particularly your show, your characters are almost always polar opposite to who you are. Hmm. And you totally. guys have monsters walking around your set. <laughs> Is it the same thing where you got this little horrible, creepy person that you're dealing with on set? And then afterward, they're not. Yeah, I mean, definitely, especially with the monsters, you see that because I mean, you'll be in the lunch line with them afterwards. And they're like, "Hey, hey, hey, how's it going?" Just uh, putting their cream in their coffee, like, "Oh yeah." So you know. I've started like on, on uh, like Instagram and Twitter, like finally just posting ridiculous <laughs> behind-the-scenes photos of the guys in the monster costumes, like in the cafeteria line. <laughs> Sometimes um, it's jarring, though. You don't expect them to be sitting in the chair or something, and you probably, whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Can you just let me know next time? If you're you coming know, into the room. Just, you know, hanging out. Just, it's hilarious. It, it is the beauty of the show. Yeah. You do it have really a cult is. following. Can you give us, and again, this is one of those shows, you don't want to give away too yeah. much, because that's the draw of it, just yeah. kind of making you hang on to the next, yeah. a teaser. Just something like any any That's, part of the season yeah, I mean, that I think I think the best yeah. thing I could say is that I mean the show is the show is very much about you know Abby and Ichabod and even though she's gone right now that's going to continue to be an important focus exactly. of the season regardless of what happens. Mm -hmm. um, and then around it, you're definitely going to see the sort of the characters who sort of orbit those two, Sophie and Joe and Jenny and, and Reynolds and Betsy and everything. And they've got some really, really, I think it's a really emotional second half of the season. It actually mm. is. Um, it is, yeah. But it's also a lot of fun. There's a lot of good action, a lot of cool new monsters. The Kindred's coming back. Yes, which is one of I the heard. That's exciting. Yes. Yeah, he's, yeah, that's a cool monster. Yeah. That's a teaser. The Kindred's yeah. coming that's back. Really I love back that. Back in all <laughs> yeah. glory. Now, yeah. uh, kind of off script, but, it, but you were a bit of an athlete. Much of an athlete. Yeah. You got anybody in the Super Bowl this weekend? You care one way or You know what? You guys, well, California people, My your California city's about teams, to be inundated with you know, right now. I, I'm staying out of it. You're I not getting in that one, huh? No. No. I'm excited for the parties. 
Super Bowl yes. parties. You want to invite me? There I you mean, go. you know, I'm open to it. So that's, uh, yeah, that's what I'm all about. The Twitter <laughs> handle is yeah. at Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks Enjoy for Atlanta back, while yeah. you're here. That's fantastic. You're always welcome. You, the door is always thank open. Thank you so much. Again, a big thank you to Fox Publicity. Sleepy Hollow. Come on, you sleepy addicts. It returns tonight at 8 o'clock right here on Fox 5. And you can stay connected with us throughout the day on Twitter. You can follow me at Karen G Fox 5. Our newscast is on Twitter at Good Day. Atlanta.